Hello guys, I'm back with the second part of the video on how to use Git and GitHub in Android Studio. Before you watch this video, make sure you went through the first part of this video. The link is in the description below. In the first part, we uploaded a project to GitHub, then imported a project from an existing GitHub repository, then we modified the code and did commit, push, update, rollback and annotate all directly from Android Studio. In this video, we will switch and create new branches, then do pull request and merge, and finally use git commands using terminal all directly from Android Studio. So let's switch to Android Studio and create a new branch. Click on this button, master. Here you will see all the branches. Local branches will have all the local branches and remote branches will have all the remote branches present in github for creating a new branch click on this button plus new branch give some name say i will give dev click on create this will create a new branch from master branch but this branch is present locally this is not available in our remote branches so to push this to the remote branches, click on push, then push, it's done. If you go to your GitHub repo and refresh, you will see there are two branches, one is master and there is dev, which I just created. Now you can modify some code here. Okay, I add one another button and then add horizontal and vertical constraints. Now to commit these changes, you need to click on this commit button and then you can give commit message. You can directly do commit and push by clicking on this button. Commit and push. Now click on push. Now if you go to your GitHub repository and refresh it, you will see and I added another button. This commit has been added. If you go to the files change section you will see another button has been added you can also compare two branches directly from android studio for that go to this branches button and then say you want to compare this dev branch with master branch click on this master branch and there will be option compare with current and you will see there is one commit difference between dev branch and master branch if you click on this you will see that commit this file has been changed if you double click on it it will open what has been changed this left side is for master branch and right side is for dev branch you can close this you can also merge changes directly from other branches from within Android Studio. Let's say I want to merge this dev code with master. For that switch to master branch first. For switching branches, you have to click on that branch and then click on checkout. Also there's another thing. Whenever you select any remote branch and click on checkout, it will automatically create a copy of that branch within local branches. Now to merge dev branch with master branch, go to this branch option, click on dev and then click on merge into current. Edison. Now if you go to activity menu, you will see there are two buttons. Initially master branch had just only one button, but we added another button in dev branch which has been now merged with master. But these changes are only present locally. To push this to the remote branch, click on this push option and then click on push. 
instance. If you go back to your GitHub, click on refresh, you will see the master has been modified. This commit which was previously present in dev is now also present in master as well. You can also switch branches by going to this git option and then click on branches. From here also you can go to any other branches and do all the operations like merge, compare etc etc. Say I want to go to dev branch then click on dev and check out. That's it. Now let's see how we can do pull request directly from Android Studio. Let's say I add another button. Now there are three buttons. Say we modify the text also. Get one. Get two. Click three. First, we need to commit these changes and push it. First, click on this commit button. Now there are three buttons. I will click on commit and push. Commit and push. Push. It's done. To do a pull request, click on this git and then go to GitHub and create pull request. You have to choose in which branch you want to do the pull request. You can give one title and press on OK. It's done. If you go back to your GitHub repository, you can see there is one pull request coming from dev to master. You can even merge this pull request from Android Studio. For that, go to get, click on GitHub, and then view pull request. You will see this pull request. Click on this button. You can even add some comments, and from here you can either merge or close this pull request. Let's say I want to merge this, so click on this merge button. You can give any merge commit, then click on merge. It's done. If we go back to our repository and click on refresh we will see merge pull request hash to this pull request has been merged from dev to master you can also use get from the terminal itself here for that first you need to add two things in the path of environment variables go to environment variable then click on this environment variables button, click on path and then edit and copy these two parts. I will give this in the video description and add it here. Second one, no, yeah. then press OK, OK, OK. After that, restart your Android Studio. We will close it. Here you can see the current branch is there. So let's say I want to create a new branch from dev and then check out to that. So for that, the git command is git checkout minus p. Give your branch name. I will give a feature chat and then enter switch to a new branch it's done now to push this branch to the remote branches you can also use git command that is git push minus u origin space branch name feature 
for pushing it to GitHub, you need to give access of your GitHub account to get. For that, you can either sign in with your browser or you can use personal access token. Let's say I sign in with my browser. Click on Authorize Git Credential Manager. It's done. And click on Refresh. You will see now there are three branches. Another is Feature Slash Chat, which we created using Git command. Thank you.